All right, people. So this is our pop century room. Mm -hmm. We're in the 50s. We got a lake view. And it's hard to see because of glare. But in the morning, we'll show you. But we have a nice view of the lake and the skyliners and everything. And we're on the second floor. And we got all our junk everywhere. But this is the pop century rooms. So. Tell us a little bit about it. I feel like it's very spacious for being a value resort for sure. Um, so as soon as you walk in, there's this cute little coffee bar area, which also has your refrigerator. Um, I don't think it has a freezer, but at least you can put like waters and stuff in there like that. What's this? Uh, that's got all your coffee. Oh yeah. So. And then you get your little coffee maker, some cups, a little ice box. Thing. Super sad it's not a Keurig, like what we're used to at home, but it'll do. Better than nothing. I don't yeah. think many people actually make their coffee yeah. in their room. I literally get all my coffee at the bars, so. Then you got your little table right here, which also doubles as a second bed, like it pulls down. Mm -hmm. We may show you all that yeah. in the future, but we're not going to get all that done right now. But it has a little table, and it also has a second bed if you have more than one couple in here. And you got obviously your TV. Which of course we already had to put the. Where did click? <laughs> no, we had to put the resort TV on. <laughs> so we got that playing. And you got your drawers right here. Put your stuff in. Definitely spacious. And then what's that? Yeah. Oh, you got your safe, extra pillow. And I think that's a Bible. Oh yeah. Which I think they actually put Bibles in every room. They do. So. Um, and then we got our bed. Um, is this a queen? I'm not this really sure. This is a queen, sure. and then it it's cool because you have a lot, a lot of room of to put your bags yeah. underneath so you don't have to leave them out once you unpack. Mm -hmm. And then you got your phone right there. There's chargers on either side of the bed. And this headboard. I wish I could have it in my house, honestly. It's so cute. And then this is a sliding door to close off the bathroom area. And yeah. Is that a soft close? I don't know. Let me see. That's it. Yeah, sweet. So it's not very loud when you shut it. Uh huh. And of course, you got your. You can hang up hang jackets, up jackets or, or backpack or something right there. Course, yeah. And then you got your little little closet here. You can put some stuff here or hang some shirts. So you got some. <laughs> you got some nice clothes or something you're going out to eat. You can hang them up there. Yep. You got ironing board. And here you got an uh, iron and a hair dryer and a couple washcloths, some more toilet paper and Kleenex. Got your sink and your hand towels. It has a bunch of space for like all your um, bathroom essentials to put in. Of course, there's extra ones on this right side. And then you got your actual bathroom. This is another sliding door with a mirror Ooh. on it. Pulling clear. It's nice. Yep. <laughs> and then, you got the potty. The potty. You got the potty. And I like the shower. And I think then it's a, really a tub shower tub. with a like waterfall shower really? head. And Did they uh, change like, it? I guess. Yeah, that wasn't there last time. And so then yeah, you got like, the actual it. like handheld one. Okay, that's nice. So, and they have our H2O. And it's cleaned, so they're all sanitized before you don't throw out people touching it and getting the rona and then they rack some towels and yeah but it's pretty spacious for a nice little room and yeah. another thing i like about this room like because it's a buggy resort it still has a bunch of like plugins for your phones oh um, yeah and whatever like cameras and stuff you got two regular and then two usbs on both sides of the bed plus all these right here there's literally so many of them so you definitely have enough space to charge everything oh yeah and then if you're also using this as a second bed there's another another set right here mm -hmm. and i also want to note that they did clean um they clearly cleaned the whole room but they cleaned the remote and it tells you plus it also shows you on here what they take care um their enhanced cleaning was so that's always nice to know Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're just gonna go to bed and 
Hit the park swan. Speaking of Epcot. Yeah, speaking of Epcot, look. Perfect timing. <laughs> so, yeah, we're excited. Alright, guys, so we are staying in room 3234. And this is our pretty view. We did ask for a lake view. So, we got pretty lucky. We got a view. Got the lake. You can see Art of Animation. It's right over there. And a bunch of Skyliners are already running. This pool's closed, but there's music playing, and it says it's supposed to open at 9, so I don't know. This is the 60s section. Yeah, ping pong table. Obviously, they're probably not doing that. And then this is the hippy dippy pool. It's really cute. here at the Skyliner in about one hour. I know, but we'll probably go like in 30 minutes, I would say. How many bass do you think oh are under that cool. thing or right there? And up in this grass here? This deep, they you don't, can tell. I don't think they take trips here. Mm -mm. That'd be cool if they did though. Did you like it anyway? Look, there's Beauty in the Beach. Yeah, the Disney trips, they don't really try and take you around docks because I think they think this people can't fish and you're just going to get tangled in the docks. But if you tell them, you'll skip that jig all the way up under there and put it in Clyde's face, they it might let you. And it actually doesn't feel too bad. Let's see. We agree with this. We do not agree with the We disagree with this one. That is... It's a scam. And if you walk around, like we're going from the 60s to the 50s area. Like there's 60s, there's 50s. So you get like these like dates with little facts on them. So. Maybe these are shown as. What? Is that what We don't use that kind of language here. <laughs> we don't. I don't know what that says. <laughs> then you got your little bowling pans. Bowling. Bowling, bowling out, dude. And I think we are. At, All right. Yeah, we're in this section right here, guys. For like the six men that watch this channel, um, if you have facial hair, when you talk, does it pull your mask down? That's like the worst part about this. See, like it's just falling down. We got 1959. We got Alaska and Hawaii. And then this is our building. Look at these stairs. The ball and pen. And our room is right there. We're gonna go up the ball and pen stairs. Look how cute this is. Yeah, we do have a really good view. It's very peaceful on our side. There's not that many people ever. I mean, it's cool because our room has, like, obviously the windows are on the outside. So our room, our window, we have a nice gap in the trees to see the water. So if you're down there, like, you're on the lake side, but you got trees and stuff. But if you're that window, you know, you got more trees there. We got a nice little gap. So, pretty solid little spot. See? I'll show y'all what I mean. I can take this mask off, thank God. It's kind of foggy a little bit. We're a little froggy. A little froggy. But you can see right out there. Mm -hmm. 